Hey there, I hope you're having an awesome day. I wanted to share with you my empties from the month of August. Now, this month for me is one that I try to use up scents that are typically, um, I mean, fin I guess finish up scents that are summery because in September I move on to my apple, my pear type scents, and my slightly fall inspired. I, I would say yes, they're fall melts, but like more of, of the apple instead of the pumpkin. Pumpkin's more October for me. Um, anyway. So I try to finish up summery scents. I try to finish up like mangoes, margaritas, papayas, stuff like that. And then depending on my mood, I'll also throw in some bakery, you know, just if I really feel like I need to. But for the most part, it's fruity still. Um, and also another thing which I have been inspired by Southern Comfort here um, on YouTube and Instagram I love her channel. I've been watching her for a while now. And she does, in the month of August, a carnival-inspired melting basket, which I, like, obsess over. It's always so amazing to watch, and I love her empties and seeing everything that she uses up. So I was inspired to use up some of my carnival-type scents in this month as well. So um, I'll just hop into this and share with you the soaps first. And then I'll share, uh, share the body washes that I use up, lotions. And then I think I'll finish with the wax melts just because that's the majority of <laughs> all of the stuff that I have. So um, let me zoom in and then I will get to sharing. So first off, I have this um, Bath & Body Works soap in pomegranate lemonade. And of course, it's not focusing. Go figure. There we go. So I have pomegranate lemonade. This to me was a pretty basic standard lemonade scent that you would get from like the watermelon lemonade candle at Bath and Body Works or any kind of lemonade, you know, vendor wax scent. I am not really a huge fan of lemonade, which is weird because I like lemon bakery scents and other lemon scents but something about the lemonade I'm just kind of like eh it's it, there's nothing special to me this one was okay I wouldn't repurchase this um yeah just pretty packaging though I really really love that purple matte packaging with the gold white barn core collection kind of look anyway um next I have island margarita there's wax on it sorry <laughs> this one was incredible I actually found this because I was at a friend's house and she had this on, you know, her in her bathroom and I used it and I was like, wait a minute, this is what I've been missing out on because I always try to stay away from lime scents. I'm just not a big lime fan. But to me, I don't smell any lime in this. The notes are fresh squeezed lime, pear, and sea salt. I smell more pear, like a juicy, fresh pear in this than anything it's not really the astringent line that you can get from other candles or wax or whatever um soaps and it's just like super juicy it's kind of i wouldn't say like it smells like a margarita taste or anything like that but it, it's it like hints at it i guess really love this one would repurchase 10 out of 10 amazing next one i have here is island papaya now, this one was another one that kind of falls into the same category as the pomegranate lemonade soap. Notes on this one are tropical coconut, fresh papaya, and sugarcane. So, like I said, yeah, falls in the same category as nothing special. Nothing stood out to me. It was pretty, like a basic, fruity, tropical, scented soap. Would I repurchase this one? Probably not. It was just okay. And then the last soap that I finished up this month was turquoise water. Sorry if there's a weird glare. Um, the one thing I will say about this is, of course, the packaging is like really, really beautiful with like the whales. And I thought everything in this collection was really gorgeous. But these are like, I'm sure if you've had this, you've noticed this. These are like paper labels. So if you get them wet, they like wrinkle <laughs> really, really badly here. There you go. That, that's kind of noticeable in that. Um, so I guess just be warned if you have this that it will definitely wrinkle. If you don't 
mind that, then it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, so notes on this are bergamot, daylily, and sea spray. To me, this one smelled like a really nice masculine cologne type of scent. Very bergamot waters -y. I mean, maybe turqu turquoise water is bergamot waters. I, that seems like it is maybe the same scent. Um, I personally would repurchase this. I really, really love the scent. I love the bergamot waters candle. So if this is the same scent, which I think it is now that I'm looking at the notes, um, then I'm not surprised that I loved this as much as I did. And in fact, all of my um, family that used this one also really uh, like told me they took note or yeah, they made a point to tell me that they liked this soap too. So this would absolutely be a repurchase. So I would say two out of two or two out of four I liked and two out of four I didn't like. Um, so I would call that a win, I guess. I don't know. Or an okay. I finished up a body wash in Beautiful Day. Uh, I'm sure you guys know the notes on this. It's sun-kissed apple, sparkling cassis, um, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. And this is just like a really nice apple scent. Um, I'm actually happy that I was using this one towards the end of this month or during most of this month actually past month because it's like the perfect scent for this month I think it takes you into September which is typically like an apple month themed month for me anyway um, so this is a full-size body cream but I like to cut these in half because you get so much more out of it. I like really, really finished this thing. Like I just scraped every little bit out. Um, this same is the body wash. It's like a super delicious apple scent. So I'm happy that I finished that up. I also finished up a mini hand cream in also cut this one in half as well in the uh, hydrolor, hydrolor, hyaluronic, sorry hyaluronic acid, um, water, I guess the scent is water. I don't really know. Um, this one though is really nice. There's something about this that makes my hands like tingly. I know that sounds weird. I shouldn't say tingly. It makes it feel like smoother than any of the other lotions. This one I really, really enjoyed and I would repurchase this. And the scent is a very, um, basic, kind of not offensive to anyone type of scent. So I don't know if you're like me and you sometimes get nervous around other like offending people with your scent. I don't know. It might just be me because I grew up with a, a father who like wouldn't let anyone burn candles in the house. Didn't like, he was like really sensitive to scent. So um, this makes me feel like better about putting this on in public because I'm like, oh, this is an, a non-offensive scent. It's like very mild and it's really nice. So I would repurchase this. Um, and then also I should say about Beautiful Day, I probably would repurchase it, but I bought so many backups during the SAS when I thought they were like discontinuing it, but they actually brought it back in a different packaging, which I don't like the packaging as much. I liked the blue with the apple on it, whatever. Um, but so I bought a lot. So would I repurchase it? No, because I have like 10 in backup. Not 10. I have like five, I think. So anyway, on to Tiki Mango Mai Tai. This freaking body wash I held on to for so long. And I constantly was asking like my essays, like, are you guys, do you know if this is coming back? Do you know if, this is going to be like an SAS return scent or whatever, because I really, really loved this one. Um, I have this in the candle. I have this in the soaps. I have this in like every scent that you can possibly get this in. But for some reason, I don't know why they haven't brought it back in the body wash. This one is a tropical scent. It's uh, mango, nectar, jasmine, flower, sun-kissed, grapefruit, sugarcane, and kawaii wood. Okay, it's so good. It's so much better in this form than the candle, than the soap, than anything. The, the, something about this body wash is just like, oh, addictive. And like, I use this like so like rare occasions only when I was like 
really, really craving it, I guess. And I made this thing last so long, but I finally used it up because I had like this much and I was like, you know what? That is stupid. Like I need to just use it up and get rid of it. And if it comes back, I definitely know I won't forget about it. So there's that one. Um, let me see how long. Okay. We're going on 10 minutes. I'm sorry, guys. Let me keep on moving. Uh, four candles. I used Bondi Beach, which I think is like a beach in Australia. Could be wrong. The notes on this one are, um, let's see, that's going to be really dark for you guys to see. It's a uh, tiara flower, banana leaf, and vanilla. To me, this just smelled like the banana sunscreen, kind of. Um, this right here, it burned fine. I didn't, I kind of just wanted to use this one. The wax was really weird in this. It was kind of like a chunky wax. Um, it sounds weird, but it was like almost like a chunkier wax. If you can see that on the side, let's see if you can kind of see how it's like chunky. Ugh, it, it looks disgusting. Um, but just something about this was weird. Um, so I kind of just wanted to burn this up, like use it up because I was like, well, end of summer scent, put it in the bathroom. It, it was fine. It wasn't super strong. It was like a five out of 10, pretty basic. Even in a small bathroom, wasn't crazy. But I'm just, you know, I'm happy that I used it. And I thought it looked really nice, burning. It was kind of a cool photo. I like the whole, like, beach kind of feel. Um, then I used up three of these mini DW Home candles. So this one is Ice Cream Sandwich. The tops of these are really cute. It's got, like, little ice cream sandwiches all over it. And then this one also was another of just like a bathroom um, scent. I know it sounds weird, but it's more, this was more of just a vanilla type of scent than anything. I guess you can kind of smell like the chocolate wafer part of like the ice cream sandwich, but it was like, I would say mostly an ice, like a vanilla ice cream scent. Um, let's see if it says the notes. Notes are not on this, but it was nice. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. Let me move on to this root beer one from the same collection. This one was really cute. Also, I, I like that they had these little um, root beer things or like, you know, co the corresponding scent little pitcher thing. Uh, root beer uh, floats on the top. This one burnt nicely all the way down, if you can tell. Not really much sooting for any of these. I mean, they were so dinky, though, like it wouldn't have mattered. Um, oh. I guess I'll say this one was probably like a seven out of 10 in the bathroom. This one I actually kept in the kitchen, which is larger, but this one is slightly stronger, maybe an eight out of 10. I did, I love root beer scent, so I did enjoy this one. And then I'm saving the best for last because this one was surprising. This one is buttered popcorn. Let's see if I can, there you go. Um, buttered popcorn. So also it's got that cute little popcorn thing there with the popcorn on the top. This one burnt very well all the way down to the bottom, a little bit more sooting than the other ones, um, but fine. This one I had in the bathroom. It was really strong and I thought, I was like, ew, it doesn't, <laughs> this doesn't work in the bathroom because of the scent. And then I took it out of the bathroom and I put it in the kitchen where we are now. And this was super strong for like this mini candle. It was like a, probably a nine out of 10, which I was like shocked about. And it just smelled super delicious. Like once it was out of the weird environment in, in a normal environment for a popcorn scent to be in, it was really nice. You definitely, definitely smelled popcorn. It was shocking. It was smelled like, I don't know, like buttery and crunchy and just authentic. So would I repurchase this? Honestly, probably. Yeah. So totally surprised me there. Um, Okay, I mean, I don't know if I would repurchase that exact one, but I think because of that, now I'm like looking more into like vendor wax popcorn scents. So anyway, I will move on to vendor wax, speaking of it. So I'm just going to tip you guys slightly down if I can. All right. So I used a ton of two ounce scent shots, a ton of one ounce scent shots, uh, five clams and a handful of these bags. So I got a lot of these um, 
bags were from like one of my first ever orders from Salt Mountain Melts. And I have this problem, I'm sure I'm not the only one that does this, where I get a scent that I enjoy or I buy some scents and I, I realize that I like them so I don't want to finish them. So I end up just having like a ton of half used bags or a ton of half used clams or a ton of, you know, just half used things in general. And I just don't finish them. And then I start to accumulate more and more and more because I can't stop buying stuff because you never want to miss out on a pre-order. You never want to miss out on a, a, you know, ready to ship or whatever the case may be. So this, uh, this year, I've been trying to just use and finish. And if I love the scent, use it, enjoy it, because I have also noticed some things are losing scent. Okay, I'm sorry I keep rambling. This is my, uh, th so these are the bags. This is a sample in Fresh S Sweet Strawberry. Um, this was a pink zebra I believe like a pink zebra wax melt. I got this as a um, extra in some de-sash wax, I believe. Um, I can't remember now. Actually, no, I got this. Maybe that was it. Anyway, uh, this one was okay. My boyfriend really liked this. He thought that this was super authentic to me. I don't, I don't think it was super authentic. It kind of smelled more like a strawberry chapstick to me, but it was fine. Wouldn't repurchase it though. And then I have Sweet Sage Scents in Purple Cow Cookie Monster. This was really cute. It actually came in a Cookie Monster shape. Like it was like a little face of Cookie Monster and a cookie wax melt, cookie shaped wax melt. Um, great popsicles with vanilla ice cream center is the Purple Cow scent mixed with Cookie Monster, which is sugar cookie, vanilla, co vanilla sugar, waffle cone and Vanilla Bean Noel. Both of those scents I love. I love Purple Cow and I love Cookie Monster. So together, I really enjoyed this one. This was probably like a 7.5 out of 10. Um, would repurchase this one. It wasn't like super, super strong. Also, I should note most of these are I use in my Yankee Candle Centerpiece and I just either use it with like a... Um, cupcake liner like one of those like pla not plastic you know what it was the soft cupcake liner things or I actually use like one of the empty um cups from Yankee Candles um, so that's just so you guys know what I'm melting it in and then also sometimes I use tea light warmers so I also melted a sassy girl aroma cookie monster which is another cookie monster and cupcakes at Tiffany's I didn't think I would like this smelling in the bag. I just didn't think there's anything special about it. And then when I freaking melted it, holy cow, this was so strong. And it smelled like the house was a bakery. It was incredible. I've been um, putting this on the Sassy Girl Aroma, like bring back request polls things. Every, every single time there's one, I put this on there because it's so good. Would I repurchase it? Obviously, yes. It was like 10 out of 10, amazing. And now on to my Salt Mountain Melts, which I have like all of these mini ones and then a big bag I went through. So the first one here is Bug Juice, which is, I'm sorry, that's so out of focus. Bug Juice is strawberry, apricot, apricot peach, and banana. I didn't think this one was going to be really strong based on cold sniff in the bag, but this one threw me out of the house. It was super, super strong. I really enjoyed this one, and it was a super authentic um, fruit. Like, all of the fruit smelled like real fruit. They didn't smell like can like the candied version of the fruit. They all sm smelled like a real banana, a real peach, a real apricot, a real strawberry. It was really nice. So, would repurchase that. Elephant ears is cinnamon sugar, flaky crust, buttery fried batter, and powdered sugar. This was actually just back in one of the recent pre-orders, and I did buy this in a candy bag because I really enjoyed it in this smaller shape. Um, I actually had used like pretty much this whole thing 
before um, the pre-order, before it was listed for the pre-order. And then when I saw it come up, I was, I couldn't remember if, like, if it was one that I really would have wanted again. So I melted it, the last amount of it, and loved it. So I did get, get it in a candy bag. Um, this one's really nice, super strong. Um, but also I think with these like cinnamon sugar type of scents, they get better over time. So, um, this one is cool for the summer, which always makes me want to sing the song whenever I saw this blue raspberry, Jolly Rancher and lemonade cotton candy. Like I mentioned, I'm not a big lemonade fan. I don't know. I think it's just me. I think it's just my preference. Probably wouldn't repurchase this one. It was pretty light. Um, and it was fine. My boyfriend really enjoyed this. So I actually let him melt this upstairs in his office and he enjoyed this one a lot. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase that, but you know, it was, he liked it. So berry go round is saltwater taffy, strawberry, raspberry, guava. And this one is to me, I like, it was super strong on the saltwater taffy. I liked it, but I didn't love it. It was pretty, it was a good thrower. It was probably like a 7.5, 8 out of 10. Uh, definitely you knew it was there. It hit you in the face. Um, but yeah, I'm, I don't, maybe I'm just not a huge saltwater taffy fan. Um, either way, I'm happy that I used it this month. I thought it was kind of fitting for this month. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. Uh, step right up is caramelized pralines, vanilla wafers, buttered popcorn. Man, I feel bad because I'm like naming all the ones I didn't like last. But the first two I really liked. So anyway, um, yeah, this one I didn't love, um, which is funny because you think I would have with the buttered popcorn if I liked the buttered popcorn candle. But I don't, maybe it was like the pralines in it. It definitely was a kind of like a nutty, buttery scent. And it was fine. It wasn't really that strong either, if I'm remembering properly. It was like a uh, four out of 10, maybe. Um, yeah, nothing like was like, holy crap, got to get this one again. And then this one is bomb pop. Okay, so this is cherry slushy, blue raspberry slushy and fizzy pop. Not a big fizzy pop fan too. So I feel like I just keep finding out stuff about my scent preferences. The more I use, of course, you're going to. Um, I'm not a big fan of Fizzy Pop, but I really like cherry scents and wax. And this was like middle of the road for me. So I, when I was in the mood for this, I was like really in the mood for it. And then when I wasn't and I put it in the melter, then I'd be like, ugh, you know, kind of like, why did I put that in the melter? Um, but I will say this, it was good. I probably wouldn't repurchase it again. I could I, see, maybe I will. I don't know. See, I don't know why I'm being so very, very strange about this. It was nice. If you want a authentic bomb pop scent, like the red, white, and blue, what is pictured here, popsicle, that is what it smelled like. Um, slightly more of a fizzy, the fizzy pop definitely made it almost like a beverage type of drink like a bomb pop soda scent if that makes sense um but it, it was really nice possibly would repurchase this again maybe just like a smaller size and just use it more sparingly probably that's what I would do um so overall I was really happy that I got to use up those because that was like my first those were from like one of my first purchases from um, Salt Mountain Melt, which now I purchase like every single time and I'm obsessed with. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the clamshells because this video is getting super long. Sensational's Coffee Cake Swirl is like a really nice um, bakery coffee bread scent. It's like cinnamon. It is cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. So if you don't like cinnamon, probably wouldn't love this. Um, but it's a, like a bakery cinnamon and not a red hot cinnamon, obviously. This one I loved. I thought it was really, really good and it performed very well for me. Probably like a nine out of 10, maybe 8.5 probably, something along that line. This is Wild Berry Cheesecake from Better Homes and Gardens. This one was like 
probably another eight or nine out of 10 in performance. It was a very delicious, super, super fruity, like every, everything that's pictured. There's raspberries, blueberries, blackberries on a cheesecake. It's authentic, delicious, 100% would repurchase this one. Um, really loved both of those. This one is Super Tarts Creeper Status. I just try to use this because all of my Super Tarts are just mushy, squishy, gushies. They're, they're just like getting gross. Um, so I finished this one up. I kind of wish that I would have held out for maybe even using this in this month that we're in now or October because it was really reminded me of like Halloween. I don't know if that's just me. The Green Apple Cake Pops and Strawberry Milkshake. It was a delicious scent. It definitely smelled like a candy it was a candied green apple almost reminded me of the green apple caramel lollipops um but yeah i really did surprisingly enjoy this one and it was very strong but i don't know if it's just me for super tarts it's like when you put it in they're crazy throw you out of the house strong but it only lasts for like maybe a couple of hours and then the scent is gone and when I say gone I mean like there is no scent left after that it is like you can't even hover over it and get a scent um that's just my that's what I've experienced with super tarts but I it could just be me I don't know uh, mainstays I went through two I went through velvet sunset which is like a maybe like it kind of smells like grapes to me kind of like a grapey scent um, and then also vanilla, which is just like a super basic bland vanilla. Um, nothing really special. These were very light, um, but I, I mean, like I didn't expect much. They're like, what, 93 cents or 96 cents or something. So they were there, but very light. So wouldn't repurchase those. Um, I went through, so now I'll go on to my, all of these scent shots that I have here. I have two from Strange Charm that I went through. Cranberry Salsa was was really nice. This is like a eight out of 10, pretty strong. And it, it smelled like a, like if you took, I guess cranberries and like chopped it up and like threw it in salsa, it smells like a um, fruity salsa. Not hot, I mean, well, I don't know. It's very odd. It was good. It was, it's hard to, it's hard to tell you what this smelled like. Kind of like just a, a herbally mixed with a fruity scent. Terrible at this. I'm sorry, you guys. This one is fresh strawberries. I didn't love this one. Um, this one kind of smelled like almost like a old, older lady's house. Like, <laughs> don't know. Um, it was fine. I melted it, but I actually did end up pulling this one out early because it wasn't my favorite. Um, but it, it was, it was definitely there probably like a seven out of 10. I went through three, ooh, I went through three from that small good shop. This one is monkey farts, which is bananas, vanilla, juicy bubble gum. This one was pretty, um, soft. It wasn't super strong. Um, it was, it was fine. I didn't, I don't think I love bubblegum scents. Probably wouldn't repurchase that. This one was Dime Piece. I thought that I was going to love this one based on cold sniff. It's winter candy, apple, raspberry, and sparkling bubbly. When I warmed this up, it just turned super perfumey and it actually kind of gave me a headache. It was very strong though, like eight or nine out of 10. Wouldn't repurchase this. And then lemon head, this one I absolutely loved. It was tart and sweet lemon candies. It smelled super, super authentic, exactly like the candies. I would repurchase this. I also finished up three samples from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is in Luke's Coffee Addiction, which is just a very basic coffee scent mixed with a French vanilla creamer. I liked this one so much that I actually bought this in a brittle. This one is purple, purple sandalwood, which is, um, to me, I don't really know what the purple means, but it kind of smelled like, almost like baby powder mixed with sandalwood. Didn't really love this one. I wouldn't repurchase it, but it was really strong. This one is cucumber splash, which smells, 
pretty much like exactly like cucumber melon from Bath and Body Works. I did not love this one, but I mean, I didn't hate it enough to like take it out early. I put it in the bathroom, which I thought it was fitting in the bathroom. It was just like a refreshing type of um, watery kind of like aquatic scent, which I'm not really a big fan of those. Obviously, you can tell I like bakery and fruity better. Um, wouldn't repurchase this, but if you like those type of scents, you probably love that. This is a um, Fantastical Feast by Ashes Scents. It's gummy bears, banana pudding, almond cream, and slushy. I got to be honest with you, I don't really remember this one. I don't think it was really strong. I can't. I, I just can't remember this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're really helpful, Lex. Um, I finished up a wallflower. This was in scent. I think it was like banana bundt cake, if I'm remembering properly. And it was in the bedroom. And if you watched my last empties video, you probably heard me rambling about how I'm like pretty much over wallflowers. I just would rather use a wax melt. I think they work better. They last. I mean, they don't last as long as, I mean, how do I say this? Um, if you put a wallflower in, you'll smell it for about maybe a week and then it's gone, but it's still got like half left. Um, where from, in my experience, dependent, I guess on the wallflower, but the majority, whereas like if I have a wax melt in the bedroom or bathroom, a warmer, I can just like change out sign whenever I want. And I like that freedom. So probably I'm, I'm not going to be purchasing a lot more wallflowers, um, from here on out. Uh, for Destination Wax. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've been using a lot of Destination Wax lately, and I'm very happy about it. So, eucalyptus tea. This was a sample of Two Little Piggies. It is just fresh eucalyptus, spearmint, and lemon. It's, I think, I yeah, it says Bath and Body Works type on it. I'm not a fan of eucalyptus tea, so I didn't love it, but I did put it in the bathroom, and it was a good basic bathroom non-offensive scent so it was okay wouldn't repurchase it just because it was not in my house of scents that I like um okay Bartlett pear holy cow okay obsessed 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 I would purchase this and a loaf it was so good and um I've also been melting a lot of pear scents in this month that we're in now, which is September, along with Apple. I, I, I'm happy I didn't say this because I feel like this is more of the pear scent made for the summer because it is fruitier and juicier and not a spiced pear that I've been kind of using more this month. This one is juicy pear, tart green apples, and fresh pear nectar, white barn type. 100%. Love this one. Recommend this one. This was a 10 out of 10. Smelled great. Performed great. Loved it. Another one that was a 10 out of 10 from Destination Wax is orange. Just plain fresh orange. This one was very loud in your face there. Um, I really did like this one. Next time, because uh, I do plan on repurchasing this for next summer. I will definitely use less of it because now I know how strong it is, but it was really nice. Strawberry jam. I went through two strawberry. No, I didn't. Um, strawberry jam. So in comparison to like the fresh strawberries from the Strange Charm, this is slight. This is better. This doesn't give you like the older lady vibe, um, but still, I don't know. It's just I'm not getting like. I haven't found a super authentic, authentic strawberry, just fresh strawberry scent from like anywhere. Um, they always kind of come off like a little bit like chapsticky to me. And even I, I've even tried strawberry seeds, which I know people like love and rave about from Destination, but eh, I don't know. It's just okay to me. Um, probably wouldn't repurchase. Uh, Golden Sands, which is a Yankee Candle dupe. Amazing. This is black coconut. Cassis, Jasmine, Gardenia, Orange Blossom, Sandalwood, Tonka Bean. 100% would repurchase this. I want to get this in a loaf. I've never even tried Golden Sands from Yankee Candle. Um, I've only tried it in this, and now I'm hooked. 
Would repurchase this a hundred times over. Obsessed. It threw like a champ. It was great. Um, most of these destination waxes, I'm I'm had a really good experience with this last month. Raspberry and sugar, ripe red raspberries and strawberries sweetened with sugar. This one I really loved as well. It was super strong. This one also did pull slightly chapsticky vibes to it, but for some reason I didn't mind it as much in this scent. I don't know. Um, would repurchase this, but probably just in another like scent shot, not in like a loaf or anything. But it was nice to have, and I'm happy I used it. That one here, this one here is mango raspberry gelato. This one is loaf worthy in my eyes. Performed very well through very like well performed and throws whatever same thing. Performed really well. Ten out of ten. Really loved this one. It was a sweet and creamy blend of mango raspberry and lemon. It honestly smelled just like like a mango raspberry gelato. The mango was really strong, stronger than the raspberry, um, but not overpowering, if that makes sense. Um, it, was a, it was like a good, very good blend, and it was like creamy. It just smelled like freaking creamy. Like I wanted to like eat the air so good. Um, okay, let me move on to, for the next two i have probably just about the same amount for these vendors i'll go on to harrison's next so i'll start with like these little one one ounce scent shots it's not loading okay so i have strawberry bear claws strawberry jam cakes and bear claws uh in my opinion harrison has the more authentic straw the most authentic strawberry scent um, that I found and I really do enjoy his strawberry blends. This one was really nice Oops, excuse me um, Probably like a 8 out of 10 for that one uh, This one's chocolate caramel kettle corn. I did really like this one uh, My partner loved this one. It was one of our favorites uh, probably a I don't know maybe like a it wasn't super strong. Uh, it was probably like a 6.5 out of 10 but yes would repurchase that one too i really like that monster cookie conundrum holy crap i love this one another wax melt melt to show how much i love monster cookie scents um this one is strawberry buttercream cake monster cookie and berry jam donut absolutely 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 love this 10 out of 10 I have Butterfly Effect, which was a sample that I got. Um, amber, Gis, Tea Leaves, Incense, Coriander, Leather, Cumin, Vanilla, Hint of Champagne. Um, this was like a super like perfumey, dare I say like one of like something you smell in like a, like a rainbow sun <laughs> or something like that. If you guys know what rainbow sun is, you'll know what I mean. Um, it was okay. It was, uh, me, it just wasn't in my, like, maybe like my wheelhouse, but it was good either way. Probably wouldn't purchase that one. This one was a sample also though, that I probably would repurchase. It's in pink chiffon and let them eat cake. This was like a perfumey bakery ish kind of scent. I really did like this one. It was almost like if you enjoy pink petal tea cake, you probably would like this. I don't like pink petal tea cake because I'm not a fan of rose, but this was like that type of scent without the rose, if that makes sense. Definitely, uh, definitely if that one came back, I would probably pick it up in like a two ouncer. Um, this one is Galactic Calicaz, which is um, Calicaz, which I have no idea what that is, and then Blonde Moment. I really did like this one. Um, I don't really even know how to describe this one. One of my friends said it reminded him of urinal cakes, which I'm like, I've never smelled a urinal cake because I don't use a urinal. Um, so I wouldn't know, but I liked it a lot. So I don't know if that'll help anyone with that. Um, this one is banana caramel cupcake. This was like a super basic um, banana cupcake scent. I don't remember. Too much about this one. I don't think this one like threw me away, so I probably wouldn't repurchase that. Um, this is that's what she said, which I love the office. And I actually got two of the office samplers when they came out. 
Um, this one is Tress Leche's Cake, Pop Rocks, and Rainbow Sherbert. For me, I smelled a ton of that cake with like that milkiness, creaminess of the cake. This was really nice, but it wasn't like super, super strong. It's probably like a 5 out of 10. Probably wouldn't repurchase that one. Um, but then two that I absolutely would repurchase from Harrison that I loved are Cotton Candy Pebbles Doel, Pebbles Dough Noel, which is cotton candy frosting, Fruity Pebbles, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Vanilla Bean Noel. This smelled just like a um, cereal with like milk in it. It was really delicious, like a Fruit Loop cereal. Loved that one. And then this one is Tropical Palo Santo which is Palo Santo Greek Island Breeze type in Caribbean Fruit Market. Love this one. Oh my God, it was so good. It smelled like you're on a beach, like a tropical beach with like a, a handsome man who's bringing you drinks. It was so good. It was so strong. I used this in the bathroom, cut it into thirds, and this sucker lasted and lasted and lasted, and I loved it. Uh, if Harrison brought this one back, I would definitely repurchase. And now... On to my last fender, which is Wolf Wax. Um, okay, so here's here's my thought. I think Wolf Wax is has, has been, in my opinion, it's like hit or miss. So I, I either have some scents that are incredibly strong and you know perform really well, and I would repurchase and I have repurchased, or I have scents that I'm like I can't smell it at all, and that's just me. And I'm, I just want to be 100% upfront, honest with you guys. Um, and I've been using a lot of Wolf Wicks lately, so I feel like I can really good like share my opinion on that because I've tried it every single way you can possibly imagine. I've tried it in all like every single different kind of warmer I've had and tea lights and you know let them cure and all this different stuff. Um, but I will say the ones that I have found that I love. I love hard. Like, I love them so, so much. So, and the ones that, like, don't smell, then it's just, like, whatever. I'll save some money and not get those again. Um, so, Banani, I tried already. This one is, like, a really nice, uh, authentic banana cream pie filling of the banana cream pie scent. I actually melted this one, was it last month or the month before that? And I said that with the second one that I have, since they always come in, like, groups of two, that I wanted to use this one with the pie crust um, crumble cup that they that they also sell, or just the pie crust wax melt in general. And I did, and it was incredible, and I'm really happy that I blended this with it because it made it smell like a like super authentic banana cream pie. So I did like that a lot. Peach Pops is one that I melted before that was pretty strong in my bathroom. And if you like the gummy peach rings, then you would like this because that is exactly what this smells like. This one was ice cream scoop bread. I couldn't really smell this one barely at all. And then ones that I also couldn't smell at all and I melted these in the living room together, one in a tea light, one in a, um, hot plate warmer didn't really smell this at all yeah, it's just uh vanilla batter vanilla sugar and almonds which I know that vanillas are tricky anyway but didn't really smell that at all this one I did smell and I did enjoy um but I probably wouldn't repurchase just based on the scent it was like a champagne cotton candy scent I think it did smell really nice but it was like something like really nostalgic, very 90s to me. So if you want something that smells like the 90s, I guess check this out. And maybe it's just me, but um, yeah, I don't know. It smelled like, like maybe like one of those like glitter roll-on type of scents. <laughs> Remember those like roll-on glitter things? That like if you're a cool girl in school, you had your butterfly clips and your roll-on glitter. That's what that reminded me of. Um, <laughs> two more that I didn't like love love this one was dr pepper snacks which is like churro and dr pepper uh didn't really love this it was fine but i think that the churro mixed with the dr pepper scent like i don't know it, it was like a weird combination for me uh so probably wouldn't repurchase that one um and then peanuts and cracker jacks i think um was just maybe a little too nutty for me 
but this one was definitely stronger. Um, it was definitely there. This was probably like a eight out of 10. And uh, I don't know, it just, I, I don't think I liked the nuttiness. I think it was just a little too nutty, but if you really like nutty popcorn-y scents, that I think is worth checking out. And then on to one that I like absolutely freaking lutely loved and would repurchase 100%, Carnival Zoomies. This is so good. It is so good. It was, um, I don't even know what the notes on of this are. It was like popcorn and caramel maybe. And um, I'm not really sure. I'd have to look up what exactly is in this. But it was so good. It was so strong. It was like 11 out of 10. It was like, my God, like this is all I could smell in the whole house, even though I had multiple other scents going. This overpowered all of them in a really good way. And it made me hungry. Like I, no joke, I got up and I went to go get to find popcorn when I ate, when I melted this because it smelled so good. It smelled like popcorn that it made me want to eat popcorn. So um, 100% would repurchase this one and then also would repurchase my, um, where did it go? My banani. Banani and, the, and these ones are my favorites. And then also, oh my God, there's, um, there's another scent from them that I really like. Oh, Pug Rolls is amazing. So, I mean, like, there's... Some are, like, crazy good, and some are just, like, not, not, not it, sis. Um, but anyway, so that's it. That is... Those are all of my wax melts for the month of August. And now that I'm in... It's, we're already a little bit into September. I filmed this a little bit late, and I know that's not great, but... Um, I'm really excited about what I've been working on this month. And also, I am planning on showing you guys my empties at the end of September, but also showing you what I've worked on melting because I know that I have some big bags of things that I won't be able to finish, but definitely will use a big chunk out of. And then I'll, I'll just um, share whatever I used at the end of my empties video next month so you'll get to see empties plus other things that I've melted and have opinions on so that's it I hope you guys have an amazing day I hope that you enjoyed this video and please share with me what you melted this past month and then also if you guys do the themed months I would love to know what your theme is for um, last month what it was for last month and what it is for this upcoming month. All right. Bye guys.